Thanks nice for spending time with us. We'll be back with the starting lineups. So you'll be a surprise to me when we come back. This is Husky basketball, ladies and gentlemen. in that game against Northwestern State. Carly Patterson, the other front court player, a 5K junior, two-letter winner from Edinburgh. She was home school there. Eight points, two rebounds, and one against the Demons on Sunday. Outside, Kiana Whitfield, a 5'6 freshman from Rosebud Lott High School in Central Texas. 11 points, seven rebounds against uh, Northwestern State. She was the only Yellow Jacket in double figures in that game. Uh, also, Alexandria Thorne, a 5-5 sophomore letter winner from Flint, Texas, but went to Robert E. Lee High School in Tyler. Uh, four points, two rebounds. Had a couple of blocks and one steal against the Demons. And uh, as we mentioned, Jayla Levin, a 5-4 freshman, two-letter winner from Sour Lake, went to Monsignor Kelly High School in Beaumont. Uh, she's a 5-4 junior. She did not play against the Demons, but she gets to start tonight. We're going to hold up just for a second because we're going to have our invocation and the uh, starting and the uh, national anthem here in just a moment. Uh, looking ahead at the schedule right now, uh, next game for the Huskies is Saturday afternoon. They're going to play Rice over at Tudor Fieldhouse. That's a 2 o'clock start. And then uh, they off for a week until the second, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, when we play at Earl Roberts. Next home game is two weeks from today against Jarvis Christian, and that will be a 7 o'clock, more normal starting time. Here, are, here is our invocation.
I mentioned that there would be some changes in the uh, starting lineup for the Huskies. Donna told us they're kind of cryptically that there would be a bunch of them. There's actually only one, uh, and that involves the starting center. Veronica Kirienko will get the start tonight, a 6'4 junior from Tashkent, Uzbekistan. She had seven points and seven rebounds. Pretty good day for her against some tall trees down at USF. She'll get the start instead of Kennedy Collins, uh, who got the start but did not score against USF. The other inside player will be Lauren Calver, a 6'1 sophomore from Helensburg, New South Wales. Last year she averaged just under five points and two and a half rebounds for the Huskies on Sunday. Four points, three rebounds, and two assists against the Bulls. Three guards, and this is this is why Donna was contemplating a big change, but uh, still went with the three outside players. Uh, Sophie Taylor, a 5'9 sophomore from Round Rock Westwood High School, had, was the uh, leading scorer for the Huskies on Sunday with a career-best 15 points, two rebounds, and one assist. Britta Dobb, a 5'9 sophomore from Rostart, Germany, had three points, had a career-high eight rebounds and a pair of assists against the Bulls. Last year, she averaged just under four points and two rebounds a game. And also Amanda Johnson, a 6'1 junior from Georgetown, did not score against USF, but had three rebounds. Last year, she averaged just over five points and 1.8 rebounds for the Huskies last year. But the Huskies 0-1 looking for their first win of the season. And uh, we'll see if they can get it this afternoon against Letourneau. Our officials today, Jennifer White will be the lead official. She's a veteran. Jeremy Hone and Angela Garland will be helping her out. And uh, we're just about ready to go as the uh, Huskies are being introduced right now. There's Lauren, and now here is Nika being introduced. Huskies uh, still do not have Taylor Cole Morgan or Bria Johnson uh, suited up. They're both uh, coming back from injuries. Hopefully they'll be back fairly soon. Bria actually uh, took some shots in practice the other day, she, or yesterday. She is being cleared for some non-contact work in the practice. So Bria, who is out just about all of last year, got her just before Christmas, uh, and she will hopefully be back fairly soon. Burton on the Huskies' backboard on Taylor and Dobb. There's not a lot of, of uh, depth behind those two in the ball handling situation. Huskies wearing their white home uniforms with blue numbers, orange trim. Uh, Letourneau in blue uniforms with white numbers and gold trim. Huskies coached by Donna Finney, of course, 47 up, 73 down, starting her fifth season at HBU, assisted by Lauren Tippett, Becca Allison, and Precious Ivy, new to the staff this year. Justin Jones, the Dobo, and Cassie Rosansky. This is her first official game as the coach of the Yellow Jackets. She's a graduate of UT Dallas, and she's assisted by Sharonda Powell. Nika and Whitfield are the girls in the circle, and as Angela throws it out, the Huskies control it, and we're underway here. Huskies against Letourneau. Entry pass goes into Karienko. They swing it around. And inside, shot put up, missed by Calver, but it comes down to Savannah Cummings for Letourneau. Coming back the other way, just underway here in the first quarter here in Houston. Here's a three put up, no good. Ball knocked out of the hands of Calvert, but Karienko comes up with the Second rebound, long pass downfield is stolen by Levin. She passes over in the corner to Whitfield and back out. Here is Levin with a three. Three-nothing, Letourneau early. Kirienko with the ball quickly down the other end. As Daub has it now at the top of the key, swings it around to Amanda Johnson. She drives to the baseline. Baseball pass goes to Sophie Taylor. She drives in, and she is foul as she puts up a shot. It won't go, but the foul's going to be on Cummings. That is her first and the first team foul against Letourneau here in the first period. Sophie will be at the line. Shooting a pair. 
81% free throw shooter last year. And she makes the first one. One thing that the coaches were contemplating is changing the starting lineup with Taylor not playing that much tonight because they wanted to make sure the other girls, the inside players, they thought they were overpassing somewhat the other day against USF and had missed up, uh, you know, passed up some good shots or good possibilities. Patterson for Letourneau. There is a little shuffle there by Thorne, but back out to Cummings. Thorne has it once again. She drives the baseline, spins, puts up a shot, and it's no good. And Lauren Calver gets the rebound for the Huskies. Quickly down the other side here is Taylor. Gets it off to Amanda Johnson. And back to Taylor as they look across court. Skip pass goes to Dobb. Nika has it, now gets it to Calver. Her jump shot from the elbow is no good. And coming down with a rebound is Whitfield for Letourneau. Here's a three put up by Cummings. It rims around no good, and Nika gets the rebound once again. Had a couple of uh, snowbirds coming back the other way, but they patched them up as driving in Amanda Johnson gets a layup for her first points of the year, and the Huskies take a 4-3 lead. 7.45 to go in the first period, and already substitution at the table for Letourneau. Levin drives around, hands it off to Patterson. This is Thorne now. Entry pass goes in and thrown out of bounds. The pass was intended for Cummings, but just out of the reach. And Ashley Reed is going to come in with a timeout, a 5-2 senior from Cedar Hill. And that is Thorne sitting down. Huskies up 4-3, seven and a half minutes to go in the first period. Huskies working against a man-to-man -man defense. Calver gets it, throws it inside to Karienko. Her shot is no good, but she was tied up. And it's going to be alternating possession back to Letourneau. Whitfield. Dribbles to the near wing. Look out on front to Patterson. Here's a three put up. Draws air and pulled down by the Huskies, but stolen away by Letourneau. Another three put up. That's up and in by Ashley Reed. So back on top goes Letourneau. Six to four, 6.45 to go. As Dobb looks for... Entry pass to somebody, but has to kick it back out to Taylor. Sophie thinks about a three, gets it to Lauren. Inside it goes to Kirienko, and they call it three seconds. So a turnover against the Huskies. That is their second so far. Sydney Carr is going to come in. Calvert's going to sit down. Or HBU, Sydney, a 5'8 sophomore from Crosby High School, had seven points and two rebounds against USF. And the Yellow Jackets with the lead. Levin worked against Taylor in the man to man. Swings it back over to Patterson. They swing it around once again to uh, Ashley Reed. Ball fake, ball fake. Here's a pass inside stolen by Carr. Huskies on the move, coming back the other way. Sydney hands it back out to Britta Daub, to Sophie Taylor at the start of the key. Now she'll try the three, and it is no good, but Sydney fights for it, and the rebound is out of bounds to the Huskies. Off the hands of Keanu Whitfield. Kara Johnson comes in, a 5'3 freshman from Colleen. Taylor back out front to Daub. Sydney Carr puts up a shot. It's a three. It's no good. Rebound to Johnson. Take it back. That's Shadaver Young. That's, we have a different number for her. And a hell ball at the other end will mean the Huskies will get it on the alternating possession. It flips again. 6-4, Letourneau, 5.39 to go in the first period. 
just underway. The Huskies not shooting particularly well, just one of six right now. Here's a shot put up, and it's no good. And rebounded, kicked by the Yellow Jackets out of bounds over by the seats in the end zone. Huskies now just one of seven from the field. Pass comes in to Sydney Carr, swing it around. Now we're going to have a foul on, it looks like, on a Reed. That will be her first and the team's second. Huskies inbound the ball underneath the basket. Entry pass goes way out to Taylor. Here is a three put up by Amanda Johnson. Good. Amanda now with five points. The Huskies' first three, and the Huskies regain the lead at 7-6. 5-11 left in the first period. Patterson hands off to Young. Young dribbles out top, gets it back out over to Reed. Her shot put up off the backboard in the glass, but Kirienko gets the rebound. Huskies come back the other way. As Taylor comes up, shot's no good. Rebound comes back down to Cummings for Letourneau. Huskies just two of nine from the field so far, but lead seven to six. Here is a drive and a foul as Whitfield drove in, but the Huskies charged for their first foul of the game. That's on Kirienko. That's her first. And we'll have our first media timeout. 4.31 left in the first period. Our score is HBU 7, Laterno 6. You're listening to Husky Basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. Seven six, our score. Huskies with a one point lead and 431 left in the first period. There are some number changes from what we had uh, from the website and what they reported, so we'll We'll stay with it right now. Shooting a pair of free throws for Letourneau. Let's see. She's got her back to me, her side to me. So whoever it is makes a shot. That is Whitfield. She's shooting two. That's our first tie at seven. And the second shot is also good. Now the lead change is the Huskies down eight to seven, 425 to go. Carr to Johnson. Here's Karienko from the free throw line. Jump shot is good. Another lead change. The Huskies back up nine to eight, 411 to go in the first period. Patterson has the ball out front, swings it around to Reed. She drives in, puts up a layup shot that is actually short, and Sophie Taylor gets a rebound. Sophie back on the other way, long pass to Johnson, and her layup is no good, and she's hitting the face. And the foul was called, and Amanda will be at the line. Foul was on Patterson, her first, third against Letourneau. 
and Amanda Johnson makes the first one. Amanda's got six now. Shannon Jones in the game for HBU, 5'9 sophomore from Crosby. And Taylor sat down. No, she did. Yes, she did. Both shots were good by Johnson. Husky's now four of four from the free throw line. Back the other way, Whitfield starts a drive, is stopped. Here is Young, drives in against the Huskies. Shot is no good. Amanda Johnson gets a long pass into Carr. She gets the layup and plus one. Sydney on the fast break. Draws the foul. Young is charged with the foul, her first. That's the fourth against the Yellow Jackets, so the Huskies will be in the bonus the rest of this quarter. Free throw is no good by Carr, but actually Sydney gets the rebound off the floor, and the Huskies retain possession. 13-8 is the score, 3.22 to go. And here is the ball kicked out of bounds by the Yellow Jackets. Amanda Johnson was driving, but somebody hit it out of her hands. Karienko inbounds to Daub. Inside goes to, to uh, Karienko. Her turnaround shot from the baseline was no good, and Letourneau gets the rebound. Back the other way. Patterson swings it around to Whitfield. Whitfield tries a shot from the baseline. It won't fall. And Britta Dobb gets the rebound. And pass goes to Carr again. Her layup shot is short. No good. And the Yellow Jackets get the rebound, and she is fouled. Like Amanda is charged with the foul. Just the second team foul against the Huskies. 13-8 the score. 2.48 to go in the first period. Back the other way. Whitfield at the top of the key. Now drives the side of the lane. Puts up a shot. No good. And the rebound goes to the Pat, goes to Patterson. And her follow is good. 13-10 is our score. 2.25 to go. Pass it around. The Huskies have it out front. And Sidney Carr swings it over to Shannon Jones. Britta inside, and the ball's tipped away. Entry pass tried to get to Shannon, but Letourneau comes up with a turnover. And back the other way, here's Patterson, walks before she gets a shot off. Third turnover against Letourneau. Huskies also have turned it over three times, and Brooklyn Moore comes in as Karienko is going to sit down. So Carr... Amanda Johnson, Brooklyn Moore, Shannon Jones, and Britta Daub comes in and also back into the game is pa that is Levin back in. Amanda being double teamed finds Britta Daub underneath and she's charged, called for charging. And she had turned. Tried to go to the basket, and Cummings draws the, the charge. Britta's first foul, third team foul. A minute 50 to go in the period. Coming back the other way. Here's Levin. She travels, and she starts to drive. She kind of slams the ball down. Upset with herself. 13-10 HBU, a minute 40 to go. Amanda Johnson to Brooklyn Moore, the elbow, and now a foul called underneath, kind of a tripping foul. I think it's going to be against Reed. Her second foul puts the Huskies in the bonus with a minute 30 to go, so shooting a pair will be Amanda Johnson, who, made, who has made her only two free throws of the season. Earlier tonight, she has seven of the Huskies' Points now eight of fourteen. Have a 
buzzer. They didn't uh, buzz to let Thorne come back in. As Reed kind of with an attitude sits down. Amanda's got nine as she makes both free throws. Nine of the Huskies, 15. Thorne up front to Patterson. Swings it around to Levin. She'll drive the baseline where she stopped there by Carr. Now she tries it again. Tries to get a pass around, and now the ball's on the floor, and it's going to be a hell ball situation. It'll be retained by Letourneau, but it is 10 seconds now on the shot clock. A minute nine on the big clock here in the first period. Huskies up 15 to 10. They've led most of the, the way, but it's some early ones, early changes here. Patterson puts up a shot, blocked out of bounds. And I did not see who that who got it. But it's still Letourneau's ball. Now seven seconds on the shot clock. Out front goes to Levin. No, to uh, Young, and she is fouled as she puts up a shot in the lane. I think that's going to be on Brooklyn Moore. Yep, Brooklyn. That's the fourth team foul against the Huskies, but Young misses the first of two. And she makes the second, her first point of the game. A minute to go on the first period, 15 to 11 the score as Britta Daub running the point now. Directs some traffic. Moore on the corner. Here is Sidney Carr at the elbow. Kicks it back out to Daub. We'll try a three from the baseline. No good. And we're going to have a foul on the Letourneau. Or she, it's going to be Levin who undercut Sidney Carr underneath. Levin's first. And Shannon Jones at the line, missed one earlier, but makes this one. This is the second one, the rebound on the floor, picked up by Letourneau now. Coming back the other way is Thorne across the timeline. With 39 seconds to go. Drives around Shannon Jones, but has to kick it back out to Patterson, to Levin. Ball fake one way. Now she'll try a long three that's not going to draw iron. And it's a 16 to 11 score with 28 seconds to go in the first period. Through the dove across the timeline. Amanda Johnson guarded on the far wing in front of the Laterno bench. Now she brings it around to the top of the key, hands it back out to Sydney Carr, and they're going to work again with it. Here is Daub. She almost travels, but gets it back out. Now we have a travel call against Carr. Three point six left in the period. Roll it in, see if they can get a shot off, and Carr steals it and puts up a long shot at the buzzer, but no good. We've reached the end of the first period. Our score is HBU 16, Letourneau 11. This is Husky softball, Husky basketball, powered by the Legacy Sports Network. Pepsi. Drink Pepsi. Rolling up on a cheap price feels good, but cheap comes with risk. Heart surgeons, pilots, no one hires a cheap one of them. Fact is, certain things must be done right. Installing electricity in Houston schools and hospitals needs to be built with manpower that spent 10,000 hours training to do their job. So for heart surgeons to do their job, we must do ours. 
Skilled labor isn't cheap, and cheap labor isn't all that skilled. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. I just made a mid-court shot in a promotion here. I didn't sure what he won, but it went in, got a big cheer. After one period, the Huskies are only four of 14 from the field, one of five from three-point range, but they have been very good from the line, seven of nine. Letourneau, three of 16 from the field, two of seven from three-point range, three of four. The Huskies with a 13 to 12 advantage in rebounds. Both teams have turned the ball over five times. Turnell getting a few more second chance points. And they've outscored the Huskies off the bench too, but Amanda Johnson has nine to lead all scorers. And the Huskies will have the ball to start the second period of play. Berta Dobbs, Shannon Jones, Brooklyn Moore, Sydney Carr, and Amanda Johnson. Same five that ended the first period, starting the second. And now something didn't start as Jennifer White stops play. The um, shot clock didn't start. Two seconds are off the game clock. I'm going to do it again. We have to reset it to 10, and here we go. There, they've started now. Amanda Johnson at the elbow. Gets it out to Sydney Carr, her three. Oh, it's a two, just inside the, the lane. She's got four now, and the Huskies now lead 18 to 11. And now Amanda Johnson jumps the route. She's got 11 on the breakaway layup, going the other way. The Huskies up 20 to 11, nine and a half minutes to go in the half. Thorne dribbling, now dribbles past the Huskies, puts up a jump shot, and coming back the other way, Shannon Jones hands it off to Daub. Her shot is in, and who foul, who's the foul on? Yep, blocking foul. Brady gets her first point. Levin gets charged with the foul, her second, and Daub will be at the line. And makes the free throw. She's got three now, and the Huskies now lead 22 to 11. Sophie Taylor comes back in. Britta's going to sit down for the first time. Nine fourteen to go in the first period. As Reed handling the ball for Letourneau. Back out front to Cummings. He swings it around to Young. She almost loses the ball, and now she is pushed out of bounds by Brooklyn Moore. Brooklyn second foul, the first foul against the Huskies in the period. Our score is 23 to 11, HBU. Now this says 25 on the monitor, but I thought it was 22, in fact. Here is Young dribbling around, now tries an entry pass in, and now a foul is going to be called on Sophie Taylor underneath. She was behind. She was behind the... Uh, the turno player, so that's Taylor's first foul. Calvers back in. Lauren back in the game, just played brief minutes in the first period. Brooklyn Moore sits down. And back the other way, here is Whitfield with the ball dribbling on this on the uh, Reed, that is, on the near wing. Back out to Patterson. Now Reed will try a long three, and it's good. She's got six. 23 to 14 is the score with 8.20 to go in the period. 
Amanda Johnson with a turnaround at the elbow. Amanda's got 13. Her career high is 19. And she's also got 13 here in this period. 25 to 14. Reed tries another three. This one's short. Rebound comes down to Sydney Carr. Sydney back across the timeline. Backs it over to Amanda. Boy, she's a good go-to person right now. She kicks it back out to Calver. And now Sophie Taylor has the ball to restart the offense with 18 on the shot clock. Carr, inside pass goes to Johnson. Nice pass inside to Calver, who puts up a shot. Lawrence got her first points of the game. 27 14, seven and a half minutes to go in the first period. Whitfield from outside. Here is Patterson driving in. She drives past Amanda and the block. She blocks the shot. Patterson catches it as she goes out of bounds. And for the first time this year, Megan Valdez Crater, the freshman from Johnson High School in San Antonio. And also in for the first time for Letourneau, Olivia Owini. Amanda Johnson kicks it out. Three-point shot by Shannon Jones. No good. And as Young comes down with, she starts to dribble. And she is charged for a foul. Johnson will inbound the ball underneath the Huskies basket. We get a fresh 30 after that travel. Entry pass goes to Calver. She shot a nice drive through the lane, and Lawrence got four points. 29-14, 6.50 to go. There's a Winnie dribbling up front. Now she drives down the side and puts up a shot off the glass and in. Back the other way, quickly. The Huskies up by 13, 29 to 16 as Crater dribbling out front. Carr gets the entry pass to Calver. She drives the lane. It layup shot will not fall. The ball is on the floor, and it's going to be off of the Huskies, and it'll be Letourneau's ball. Substitution, Whitfield is going to come back in. Oh, she's been in. Sophie comes back in, and who sits down? Shannon Jones. Here's a drive. Iwani from the free throw line drives in, but can't do anything with it from the lane. Has to kick it back out. Reed dribbling. Now she drives, tries to drive down the lane. Her shot, kind of a wild shot off the glass, is pulled down by the Huskies. As Crater comes back in, and she drives in. Her misses, can't hit the layup, and it's going to be tipped out of bounds by the Yellow Jackets with 5.42 left in the half. The Huskies up 29-16. Pass comes out front to Calver. She has the ball stolen away by Patterson. And back the other way, the layup shot is no good on the other side, and it's kipped out of bounds by Johnson, so it'll be a team rebound to Letourneau with 5.32 left. Whitfield will inbound underneath her own basket for the Yellow Jackets. Gets it back out to Reed. Reed guarded by Crater now. Dribbling around, she tries to put up a shot. It's blocked by the Huskies. And a foul as Calver came down with a rebound and Iwani. Her first, team second in the period. Huskies will get the ball on common foul in the backcourt. Megan inbounds to Sophie and we're back in play here. 5.20 to go. Sydney Carr to Calver on the near corner. Crater, Carr drives in and she is fouled on the drive. Uh, 
Patterson charged with the foul for Letourneau. That's the third team foul, second in the game against Patterson. Huskies with a fresh 13, a fresh 30. That's number 13, Crater. Drives in. She is char charges in to Iwani, and the foul is called on Valdez Crater. Third team foul against the Huskies. Cummings back in, and Patterson sits down for Paterno. Back the other way, here is Reed. He's guarded strongly by Crater. Now Iwani gets it, skips it over to Young. Her shot off the glass is good for a three. Now back the other way, the Huskies tried to force it inside, and it's stolen away by the Yellow Jackets. Coming back, a layup is good by Whitfield. She's got four now, and it's now a 29-21 game with 4.25 left in the first half. Huskies up by eight. Calver from the near wing. Gets it to Amanda Johnson on the elbow. Skips it out to Taylor. Back the other way to Crater. Here's a shot just inside the arc, no good. But a rebound put up and in by Johnson, and she's got 15. And a timeout's going to be called by the Letourneau, and we're going to take it with them. 4.06 left in the first period, in the first half, and it's 31-21 Huskies. This is Husky basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. Incredibly powerful. It's so nimble and fluid, but sometimes we push it too far. That's when you need the strength of Memorial Hermann and our body of affiliated orthopedic specialists. With our renowned Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, they not only get your body back to where it was, they get it to go further. It's what makes us more than just hospitals. We are a body of experts. Memorial Hermann, advancing health. Pepsi bubble love for me money, any and every time, full of vibes, yes, right? Don't ask me why. Original Pepsi flavor, perfect price, satisfaction in action, just the right size. When we crave the fresh Pepsi flavor, at the 60 dollar Pepsi bubble love me favor, experience me savor. At the bubble love we draw, original fucking savor. Get the original bubble love for your money, no. It full of taste plus the price, right? Original Pepsi flavor is nice and nice. We draw for the bubble right at the right size. Pepsi, live for now. Hey, the band's here. 406 left in the first period, first half, and the Huskies up by 10, 31 21. As Amanda Johnson has really had a first half, she's got 15 points. She has not missed a shot. Five of five from the field, including her only three point attempt, and four of four and free throws, but other than her, the Huskies not shooting that well. Just six of 20 up for the rest of the team. Awani has the ball in a high post here back the other side. We have a whistle underneath, and it's gonna be a blocking foul against the Letourneau. Cummings charged with a foul, her second. That's the fourth team foul against the Yellow Jackets, and she's going to have to sit down, and Young comes in. Huskies back the other way. Calver underneath to Taylor. Her shot was no good, hit the bottom of the basket, and the rebound pulled down by Letourneau, tipped out of bounds by the Huskies. 3.39 left in the half. HBU up by 10. And now we have a, a whistle and a question. What do we got? I think they're going to say we're going to have to take a couple of seconds off the shot clock. Yep, took one second off. Yep. We're dealing in absolutes here. Now even less as they get the ball across the timeline as Reed gets it over to new player in the game. That is Taylor Abbey, junior from Mesquite. And Sedona Young drives in. She tries to put up a shot. Knocked down by Calver, but it's picked up by the 
Yellow Jackets. Iwani kind of throws one up and it goes in. 31-23, 3-10 to go in the half. Here's Calver at the elbow. She drives into the lane, kicks it out to uh, Megan Valdez Crater, and she puts a three in. 34-23 our score with 2.54 to go in the half. Huskies now with well, just two three-pointers, two of seven from three-point range. As Iwani gets it over to Young, entry pass goes out of bounds. Tried to get it back to Iwani and just sailed out of bounds. Huskies with the ball, 238 left. As Valdez Crater comes across, calling out the play, gets it over to Carr. Her layup splits a pair of defenders and goes in. Sydney's got six. 36-23, 2.20 to go. Reed with the ball for Letourneau. Dribbles to the corner, now dribbles, shot put up, and it won't fall, and coming down with a rebound is Valdez Crater. Long pass goes to Calver. Her layup shot is good, and she's fouled. She's got six. And she'll try for seven on, from the line. Taylor Abbey charged with the first foul. That's the fifth against the Yellow Jackets. Daub comes in, and Taylor sits down for HBU. Here is Calvary at the line. She was a 60% free throw shooter a year ago, and she's zero right now. That hit the front of the rim and didn't get up on top of it. Coming back the other way, layup shot's no good. Daub gets the rebound, and she has a long pass out to Sydney Carr on the layup, and it goes in. Carr's got eight. 40 to 23 Huskies. HBU has scored 24 here in this period so far with a minute 39 to go. Redirecting traffic. Gets it over to Young. Back out front to Patterson. Swings it around to Whitfield. She'll drive the baseline. Puts up a shot. It's no good. Iwani gets a Second shot off, and now Whitfield puts a follow in, and she's got six. 40-25. Amanda Johnson driving in, gets it back out to Dobb. Her shot from the free throw lane will not fall, and Letourneau gets the rebound. Here's Whitfield coming back down. Ball is stopped by Valdez Crater. Now it's kicked but picked up by the Yellow Jackets. Shot from the free throw line will fall, and we got a foul underneath. Lewinny gets the basket. And now a foul called. The discussion is who's it on. Amanda Johnson charged with the foul, her second. And Patterson will be at the line. It was the fifth foul of the period against the Huskies. Patterson misses the first. I missed one someplace. Forty twenty-seven the score with fifty-three point nine eight. Both free throws are no good, but Whitfield runs it down and it's kicked out of bounds, tipped out of bounds by Sydney Carr. The ball will remain with Letourneau as they're trying to get a big possession here. Here's Patterson. Starts to drive the baseline. Calver cuts her off. Now a shot goes up and it kind of ends up being a pass to Iwani. Now Patterson drives again. She puts one off the glass and Carr gets the rebound for the Huskies. Long pass goes down to Calver, but it, she can't handle it. Just a little bit anxious there trying to get the home run again. So with 32 seconds, the Huskies will turn the ball over, and it's a 13-point lead for HBU. 
Whitfield and Reed playing catch at the top of the key. 17 is about a second difference on the shot clock and the game clock. Reed driving in, puts up a running jump shot, no good. Whitfield gets the rebound. Now the ball's loose at midcourt. Reed picks it up. She tries a shot, and she's fouled with .86 seconds to go. And it's going to be on Sydney Carr, I think. Yep. Carr's first foul. And it'll be a three free throw opportunity for Reed. She's all alone. Her teammates have gone back the other side. And the first free throw is no good. The turnover just now three of seven from the line. Free throw number two. She makes this one. Gets her seven points. She's the leading scorer for the Yellow Jackets in the first period. And the second one is no good. Carr tries a long one after getting the rebound. But we've reached the first half is over. And the Huskies with a 40 to 28 lead over Letourneau. Look at the stats and have some other scores coming up. This is Husky softball, Husky bas that's twice now. Husky basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. Excuse me, is that your Diet Pepsi? Sophia Vergara. Hi, uh, yeah, I just, uh, <clears throat> this is my Diet Pepsi. I love Diet Pepsi. Do you love every sip? Uh, nothing is better than drinking a refreshing Diet Pepsi and just reveling in its crisp, delicious taste. Well, you know what they say. If you love something, let it go. And if it comes back, it was meant to be. So I should set this Diet Pepsi free and wait for it to come back. Then it'll be more delicious than ever. Would you hold my Diet Pepsi for me? I'd love to. Thank you. What happens now? Go, get out of here. It can't come back to you if you're standing next to it. Thanks, Sophia. I'll wait for you, Diet Pepsi. The only thing better than an ice-cold Diet Pepsi is a free ice-cold Diet Pepsi. Love every sip at DietPepsi.com. Building Houston to compete on the world stage is what we do at the IBW. It's important to us that Houston knows why we do what we do, not just what we do. Sure. We're the best electricians. We train 10,000 hours to be the best. But we get up early so Houston is built to compete. To be the best, hire the best. Skilled labor isn't cheap, and cheap labor just isn't all that skilled. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. Let Houston Federal Credit Union be there for all the stages of your life. Take advantage of our products and services to help you with all your financial milestones, such as purchasing a car, buying a home, and planning for retirement. We are the credit union that will always have your back and helps you save money along the way. Houston Federal Credit Union is the official credit union of HBU. Experience the credit union difference today. Stop by any of our convenient locations or visit our website, HoustonFCU.org. If Raising Cane's one love was rock music, they would rock harder than any rock band ever. Their tours would sell out before they were announced. Their backstage parties would be the stuff of legend, attended by unicorns and the head of Louis XIV. Hotel rooms would trash themselves out of respect. But Raising Cane's one love isn't rock music. It's making the perfect chicken finger meal every single time. Raising Cane's one love. <laughs> At the Memorial Hermann Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, we're dedicated to the dedicated, who lace up before sunrise, who don't let a hard hit keep them down, who want the ball when the game's on the line. So team up with the Memorial Hermann Ironman Sports Medicine Institute at Texas Medical Center Memorial City or the Woodlands, where our affiliated surgeons, specialists, and physical therapists offer all athletes the elite care they need to forge ahead. This is the HBU Husky Sports Network, powered by Legacy Sports. 
Bill Cousins back with you at Sharp Gym as the Huskies with a 40 to 28 lead over Letourneau here in the home opener. Huskies uh, led in the first half with no doubt by Amanda Johnson. She had 15 points and uh, nine of those came in the first period. And uh, she's just four off a career best. She had 19 last year. Who was that against? Against uh, at New Orleans back in January. After after Amanda, uh, Sydney Carr also in double figures. She's got 10 oh! officially. Uh, Lauren Calver has four, three points each from Britta Daub and Shannon Jones, and two from Ver Veronica Karienko and Sophie Taylor, and one point from uh, Shannon Jones. I'm sorry, uh, Megan Valdez Crater has three. Shannon's got one. That adds up to 40 for HBU. Huskies shot 15 of 31 from the field, that's 48%, and that's pretty good after a, a mediocre first period. They only shot 29% in the first period, but were 11 of 17 from the field in the second period, not shooting a lot of threes, not making a lot of threes. They're just two of seven, but a big uh, positive is eight of 11 from the free throw line. They have out-rebounded Letourneau 24-23, and turnovers are even at nine each. For the Yellow Jackets, leading scorer is Ashley Reed off the bench. She's got seven points. Olivia Iwani has six points, as does Kiana Whitfield. With uh, four, Kara Johnson. Actually, it says Kara Johnson, but I think that is actually should, uh, should Donovan Young. Uh, we had a, a, a number change. Not sure who is who, really. Uh, Carly Patterson has two points. Uh, Jayla, Jayla Levin uh, has three, and uh, that adds up to the 28 for Letourneau. The Yellow Jackets, 10 of 36 from the field. That's 28%. Four of 10 from three-point range, and just four of nine from three-point from uh, the free throw line. Huskies uh, with a 20 to 12 advantage in the paint. But uh, not much really in their fa in their six to two on fast break points. They've tried to go for the home run a few times, and a couple of times, uh, kick passes were just over the reach of the Huskies streaking downfield. Uh, mostly with uh, Reed and Iwini doing good work off the bench. The Yellow Jackets have outscored the Huskies in bench points, 17 to 14. Halftime with the Huskies up 40 to 28. We'll be back for more halftime stats coming up and score some other games coming up. This is Husky softball, Husky number three, Husky basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. Coming to you in Living Cola.
I'm here with the Kalachi Factory Master Baker. And while many around here enjoy these old world treats for breakfast or lunch on the go, others still don't know what a kalachi is. So we thought we'd get answers straight from the horse's mouth. There are no horses here. That's just an expression. My expression remind you of horse? Uh, it's a pleasure to see that you bring such authentic Eastern European tradition and craftsmanship to your baking. We make dough from scratch daily and use only finest meats, cheeses, and fruits. I see that, but what is a kalachi? One word. Yes. Delicious. And? Nutritious. I was hoping for something more descriptive. It's fresh. Yes, but wouldn't you describe it as a lightly sweet roll baked with different ingredients inside, like the popular sausage and cheese kolache? Taste. Mm. Oh, see? Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Folks, you have to experience a kolache for yourself. Just visit the kolache factory. Delicious. A history of good taste. Could, could I try another one? Of course, of course. Come with me. I give you a very special kolache treat. Oh, thank, Come here. Thanks. You're very skinny. Still halftime here as the Huskies have just come back out on the court. HBU leading 40 to 28 at the break. One other score, compl game completed in teams uh, involving teams from the Southland Conference today. Uh, number two ranked Texas defeated McNeese over in Austin 134 as that was their education day uh, game over at the uh, Irwin Center in Austin, 130, 100 to 34 was the final score. Three other games starting uh, tonight. Uh, Southeast Louisiana is playing at Cincinnati. That's a six o'clock Houston time start. Uh, Southeast looking for its first win of the year. Uh, Texas State playing at Incarnate Word. Those, that's also a six o'clock start. Uh, the Cardinals looking for their first win. They're 0 for 2. And uh, Northwestern State, which uh, defeated these guys, Laterno, on Sunday. They're hosting LSU Shreveport, and that's a 6.30 start over in Natchitoches. Laterno has come back out on the floor also, so we'll have second half action as we come back. This is Husky Basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. Are you looking for a totally free checking account? Houston Federal Credit Union has it, and it's packed with free services like mobile banking with person-to-person -person transfers and mobile bill pay. And Houston Federal Credit Union is a proud supporter of HBU Athletics. So stop by their office at 6808 Bentliff Drive and experience a better way of banking. Visit HoustonFCU.org for more information. Houston Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of HBU. Houston Federal Credit Union is federally insured by NCUA. You're listening to Love Advice with Leanne. Caller, you're on the air. Uh, hi, Leanne. Long-time listener, first-time caller. <laughs> Why, in your professional opinion, do you never take my calls off the air? Is this Carl? Yep, it's Carl. I mean, we had a few dates. Everything was great, I thought. Uh... Well, you know, when you switch to GEICO, you could save a lot of money on car insurance. Okay, awesome. You should call them. I will. GEICO, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer. We're passionate, delivering expert neurological care for adults and children. We're dedicated, responding to neurotrauma and stroke with lifelight in our Level 1 Trauma Center. We're persistent, restoring lives at our Tier Rehabilitation and Research Hospital. We are Memorial Hermann. And we're making neuroscience breakthroughs every day. The International Brotherhood of Electric Workers in Houston believe keeping America's family strong is vital. We believe Houston competes in a global economy, so we must construct buildings to last. We believe training for 10,000 hours counts for something. Most important, we believe in each other. We don't know what the competition believes, and most times, neither do you. To be the best, hire the best. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. Tammy and I have been going steady since high school. Tammy and Tommy, two peas in a pod, as they say. We have all the same friends. We like all the same things. I mean, we practically even have the same name. But there's one thing we could just never agree on. Soda. <sighs> I have been begging him all these years to just try Pepsi, and I knew he would change his tune. Yeah, yeah. So, finally, I had him take the Pepsi taste challenge. And go on, tell him what you told me, Tommy. <sighs> 
I'm a Pepsi man. Mmm. Right? Gosh, isn't Pepsi so good? I tell you what, I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Me neither. It's so crisp and refreshing and bubbly. Like me. Like you. I'm always right. She's always right. <laughs> All across the South, people are choosing the great taste of Pepsi. Take the Pepsi Taste Challenge and let your taste decide. Bill Cousins back with you at Sharp Gym. Team's uh, still loosening up after uh, a first half of action in which the Huskies hold a 40-28 to 28 advantage over Letourneau. Reminding you of the schedule coming up, the uh, Huskies' other sports for HBU, volleyball playing Northwestern State in the Southland Conference Tournament Friday afternoon. That's a 1.30 start down in Corpus Christi. First round game in the Southland Tournament. Championship be played on Sunday in Corpus. Football ending its season on Saturday and got a tough one at Sam Houston State. That's a one o'clock start up at Bauer Stadium in Huntsville. About the same time, women are playing at Rice, a two o'clock game, and men's basketball returns to action uh, in the Belmont University Tournament in Nashville. They're playing Belmont at 7.30 uh, Saturday night. And then they'll play either Seattle or Detroit in the second round of that tournament on Sunday at a time to be announced. The, uh, actually, that's a 3.30 start in Nashville on Saturday for the men against Belmont. Huskies women will return home here in two weeks to take on Jarvis Christian, their next home game. Dobb, Taylor, Carr, Johnson, and Kiryenko starting the second half for HBU as Reed gets it over to Cummings. And a long three-pointer put up by Reed, and Taylor comes down with a rebound for the Huskies. And on the breakaway, Amanda Johnson gets the layup. Amanda's got 17 in this game. It's 42 to 28 Huskies. Just starting play here in the second period, or the third period of the game in the second half. Whitfield out front. Huskies playing a zone this half as the shot goes up and in by Whitfield, and she's got eight. 42-30 our score. 9-12 to go. Sophie with the ball out front. Sydney Carr at the wing drives to the base to the uh, glass. Cannot get it to score, get, get him, but Kirienko gets the rebound, hands it back out. Huskies get a fresh 30. Skip pass all the way over to Carr. Her shot from three is no good. And coming down with a rebound is Patterson for the Yellow Jackets. Reed, a little jab step into the lane, but she hands it back out on the side. Here is Young, drilling to the baseline, gets it back out to Patterson. Her shot is no good, and the rebound comes down to Sydney Carr. Amanda Johnson again to Sophie Taylor. The Huskies work it around the perimeter. Man-to-man -man defense, here's Kirienko inside, and she walks before she can get a shot off. They collapsed on her pretty quickly, and instead of going, and she was a little bit too far underneath the basket, and was kind of in the, no man's land underneath there. Turnover gives the Yellow Jackets the ball again with eight minutes to go. As Whitfield hands it over to Young, she looks inside. Kicks it back out to Whitfield. Long three-pointer is no good. The ball is on the floor. Sophie hands it off to Amanda Johnson. Huskies come down. They've got Kirienko underneath. She puts up a shot from the baseline, and it's good. Nick has got four now. It's 44-30, seven and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Reed works against the couple of picks, but actually hands it off now to Cummings. Cummings to Young. Entry pass goes underneath to Cummings. Good give and go, but the layup won't fall. And Amanda Johnson gets the rebound for the Huskies. 
Sophie Taylor dribbles to the top of the key, now dr drives in. That was Sydney Carr with the shot. It would not fall, and Letourneau gets the rebound. Young at the top of the key, has to pick up her dribble. Gets it over here to Reed. Bounce pass in the corner, that is Young. Three-pointer is no good, but Patterson gets the rebound for the Yellow Jackets. Back out front to Young. She'll drive the baseline and puts up a shot off the glass and in. She's got six, 44-32, 6.23 to go. Huskies up by 12. And the pass is stolen, but out of bounds. Patterson had it but couldn't stay in bounds, so the Huskies will inbound the ball. Carr gets it out front to Sophie Taylor, and Sophie gets it back to Carr on the wing. She dribbles in, splits the defense, layup is good. Carr's got 12. 46-32, six minutes to go in the third. Young skip pass over there to Whitfield, back out front to Cummings. Cummings dribbles over to the wing, hands it off to Young once again. The ball's ticked around and almost knocked in. That's going to be a foul on Britta Daub as she and Ashley Reed kind of tangled up. That's Britta's second foul, the first foul against the Huskies in the third period. 541 left, and the Huskies up by 14. Reed holds the ball, now starts a dribble out front. Daub is with her. Now turnaround jump shot put up and no good. And we have a foul underneath on one of the Huskies on the rebound. Cummings put up a shot, rolled off. not catch who that foul was on. Sophie Taylor now has two, that's hers. Shot no good on the other end. Now the Huskies get the rebound as, oh, what a great pass. Sydney Carr couldn't get the shot to fall, but Amanda puts it back up and in, and she's got a career, she equaled her career best with 19 points, 48-32 Huskies. Patterson swings it over to Young on the other side. She's trying to get it back to Patterson, but now works on the corner to Reed. Ashley Reed, Cummings at the elbow. Back out front to Young. She'll try the three. No good, and the Huskies get the rebound. Carr comes down with it for HBU. Here's Amanda Johnson underneath. Britta Daw back to Kirienko. Her shot is no good. Well, like she called for traveling as she started her drive. And we will have immediate timeout with 437 left in the third quarter. HBU leading 48-32. to This is Husky Basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. Is it time to buy your first or next car? Let Houston Federal Credit Union help. Their super low rates and easy payment terms can save you a lot of money. Plus, their fast approval will put you behind the wheel of your dream car in no time. Stop by their office near campus at 6808 Bentliff Drive or visit them online at HoustonFCU.org and let them help you get the very best deal on your new or pre-owned car or truck. Experience a better way of banking at Houston Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of HBU. Houston Federal Credit Union is federally insured by NCUA. Rolling up on a cheap price feels good, but cheap comes with risk. Heart surgeons, pilots, no one hires a cheap one of them. Fact is, certain things must be done right. Installing electricity in Houston schools and hospitals needs to be built with manpower that spent 10,000 hours training to do their job. So for heart surgeons to do their job, we must do ours. Skilled labor isn't cheap, and cheap labor isn't all that skilled. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. Forty-eight, thirty-two. The Huskies leading with 4.37 left 
in the third period. HBU four of eight from the field here in the third period. About scored the Yellow Jackets eight to four in the period, extending that halftime lead. Laterno has only made two of 10 shots from the field. And the Huskies strengthening their uh, hold on rebounding. They're up in that category, 32-27. Laterno with the ball as we resume play. And it's Ashley Reed working the point for the Yellow Jackets. So over to Cummings, and then back to uh, Whitfield. Ball tipped away by Kirienko, but the Yellow Jackets retain possession. Shot put up, missed, and uh, they try to get it out to Shadonover Young, and she cannot control it in front of the Laterno bench. And the turnover gives the ball back to HBU with 4-12 left and a 16-point lead. Cassie Rosansky talks to Cummings. She comes out of the game. Here is shot put up and in by Amanda Johnson. Amanda now eight for eight from the field. She's got a career best 21 points. Here is Iwani back in the game. Here is Reed. Ball fake, now puts up a shot. No good, and Amanda gets that rebound. Got six of those. 50-32 our score, 5.35 left in the third period. Shannon Jones back in the game. Here's Kirienko with a long shot, no good. And the rebound put up, and Shannon Jones can't get it to fall, and the rebound comes down to Letourneau. Reed to Whitfield. This is Patterson on the baseline. Gets it back out to Whitfield, swings it around to Young. Now a ball fake as Reed puts up a shot, no good, and we've got a foul underneath as Johnson and Patterson get tangled up, and it's going to be on Patterson. Third foul, but just the first against the Yellow Jackets here in the third period. Brooklyn Moore comes back in for HBU. And Kirienko sits down. Daub also back in, and Taylor sits down. There's Britta, hands it out front to Shannon. Sidney Carr to Amanda Johnson, misses a shot. Rebound to the Huskies, a couple of shots no good underneath. And Patterson gets the rebound for Letourneau. It's the first miss of the night. And now we're gonna have a call timeout by Letourneau, we get to take it with them. 50 to 32 our score, 237 left in the third period. The Huskies up by 18. This is Husky basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. At Memorial Hermann, we're many parts working in harmony, performing more brain and spinal surgeries than anyone in Houston conducting groundbreaking research at our Mission Neuroscience Institute, establishing the region's largest network of certified stroke centers. Some might say this makes for an accomplished performance, but to us, it's all in a day's work. Memorial Hermann. Breakthroughs every day. Every day is a chance to live for now. Hold my Pepsi. Hold my Pepsi. Hold my Pepsi. All you have to do is rise to the challenge. With new challenges every month, the Pepsi Challenge is on. Visit PepsiChallenge.com and taste life differently. Bill Cousins back with you here at Sharp Gym. The Huskies up by 18, 50 to 32, 2.37 to go. The Huskies, uh, pretty good job. Just 
pulling away from the smaller team at Letourneau. That'll be another interesting game on Saturday. The Huskies playing at Rice. That's a 2 o'clock start over at the Tudor Fieldhouse. And we'll be on the air for that one at 1.40 Central Time. Inbound pass goes to Reed, almost stolen away by Britta Daub, and now Britta fouls Reed as she drives down the baseline, and that is Britta's third foul, second of this period, and now three team fouls against HBU. Reed will go to the line. She made only one of three free throws in the first half. Yellow Jackets just four of nine from the line in this game, and now four of ten. <laughs> Megan Valdez Crater comes in, and Britta's going to sit down. And Sophie Taylor also comes back in, and uh, sitting down is Sydney Carr. So Taylor, Valdez Crater, Amanda Johnson, Shannon Jones. And Brooklyn Moore in the game. Both free throws are no good. Huskies get the rebound. Moore pulled it down. Jones gets it back to Mel Valdez Crater. Back to Jones. She's trying to think about getting it into Amanda Johnson at the high post. But they swing it around the side. Now Amanda gets it from Brooklyn Moore. And Brooklyn with a give and go puts up a shot. And she is fouled underneath by Levin, I think. And that is her third. I call that on Patterson. I'm sorry, that's four on Patterson. Moore makes the first one and the second one. Her first two points of the game. And the ball stolen away underneath. Taylor and Moore working at it. Now she, and Taylor is fouled as she went up. Foul is on Levin. That is, that is her third. And the third team foul against the Yellow Jackets. Sophie Taylor with a free throw. Sophie does not have a field goal in this game. She's now three for three from the line. Patterson has to sit down. Cummings comes in. Taylor makes them both. She's got four now. 54-32, two minutes to go. As Ashley Reed brings the ball, guarded by Megan Valdez Crater. Yellow Jackets with the ball. Here is Young driving into the baseline. Her shot is blocked by Brooklyn Moore. Comes down with it. Sophie Taylor, underpass, great pass underneath. Wow, did she really, Sophie Taylor really threaded the needle with that one, and a layup is good by Amanda Johnson. She's got 23 now. And now another foul called on the Huskies as Reed was driving. Megan Valdez Crater gets her second foul. That's the fourth team foul against HBU. It was on the drive, no shots coming, but a fresh 30 for the Yellow Jackets as Whitfield gets it into Reed. Reed directing some traffic and now drives past Crater, and the shot is no good. And Crater gets the rebound, and on the break coming out, here's Amanda Johnson with a layup, and it's good, and she is fouled. That is 25 now for Amanda. Foul was on Whitfield, her first, fourth team foul. But trying for the old-fashioned three-point play is Amanda Johnson having a career game today for the Huskies. Amanda did not score at South Florida, but she has got 25, going for 26 here. In this game, Amanda 10 for 11 from the field, one of one from three-point range. She's made all four of her free throws and make it five for five. And now with 26 points. 
59-32, Huskies up by 27. Putting some pressure in the backcourt, but Ashley Reed brings it across now. Reed to uh, Iwani, back to Reed. She'll try a long three, and it is no good. And a foul underneath is going to be on Valdez Crater, I think. And Whitfield will go to the line. Valdez Crater with third foul, and that's the fifth team foul against the Huskies. 55.9 to go. And Whitfield, who is two for two from the line, are shooting a pair. Whitfield uses the whole rim and goes through. She's got nine. Dribbles a couple of times, now puts another shot up and in. She's the first in double figures for the Yellow Jackets. Back the other way, Amanda Johnson headed the ball at the high post. Now here's Crater, Valdez Crater trying another three and she makes it. She's got six. Husky 62-34 is our score with 38 seconds to go in the third period. As Iwani hands it off the other side to Young. Now Iwani back inside, shot is blocked. The Huskies come down with it. Shannon Jones gets it to Crater and she travels as she starts to drive. A little anxious there. With 19.81 seconds on this fancy Spectrum scoreboard. Huskies with their biggest lead of 28. Young, shot clock is off with seven seconds to go. Top of the key, here's Whitfield. She puts up a shot from the lane and it is good. Whitfield with twin with 12 points and that'll bring us to the end of the third period. But the Huskies had their way and in that period lead it 62 to 36. You're listening to Husky Basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. Building Houston to compete on the world stage is what we do at the IBW. It's important to us that Houston knows why we do what we do, not just what we do. Sure, we're the best electricians. We train 10,000 hours to be the best. But we get up early so Houston is built to compete. To be the best, hire the best. Skilled labor isn't cheap, and cheap labor just isn't all that skilled. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. Let Houston Federal Credit Union be there for all the stages of your life. Take advantage of our products and services to help you with all your financial milestones, such as purchasing a car, buying a home, and planning for retirement. We're the credit union that will always have your back and helps you save money along the way. Houston Federal Credit Union is the official credit union of HBU. Experience the credit union difference today. Stop by any of our convenient locations or visit our website, HoustonFCU.org. Huskies outscored the Yellow Jackets from Laterno 22 to 8 in the third period, opened up that 62 to 36 lead. And one tie and five lead changes all coming in the early going as Amanda Johnson with 26 points. Huskies leading scorer, Amanda with her career best, 26 points. As we mentioned previously, she scored 19 at UNO back in January of this year. She's also got six rebounds, which equals her career best in that category. Husky ball. Sydney Carr brings it in to Brooklyn. Now Amanda at the top of the key. Megan Valdez Crater hands it over to Shannon Jones. Here's another shot put up and in by Amanda. She's got 28. Amanda had 11 points in the third period. 64-36 Huskies, nine and a half minutes to go in the game. Ashley Reed guarded by Amanda up front. 
Here is Whitfield driving to the baseline. Her shot is good, and Whitfield's got 14. She's got eight of those in the second half. Looking more. Entry pass at the high post goes to Amanda. And uh, looking, she's double teamed there, and now there's a five-second count, and she, the turnover will give the ball back to Letourneau with 9.08 to go. And it was looking for somebody to, to cut and get open, but couldn't do it. There's Cummings with the ball for Letourneau. Gets it off over to Young. Swings it back over to Whitfield. The ball, she's on the floor, but it back to Iwani. Turnaround shot put up and in by Cummings. That's her first point, first two points of the game. 64-40 our score with 8.41 to go. For the daub of the table to come back in. Here's Amanda again at the high post. And she dribbles out of it, hands the ball off to Valdez Crater, but Valdez Crater throws it into the Husky bench. And Stetzler and Jason Jones sitting at the end over there. And Nothing they could do with it. Britta Daw back in. And Shannon Jones will sit down. With 8.22 to go. Here is Young driving in. Shot is no good. And Valdez Crater loses her headband, but gets the rebound. Megan with the ball now to start the offense. And he gets it over to Brooklyn. She'll try a long three. It's good. Morris got five. She's one off her career best as Whitfield drives in the other way, and there's going to be a foul. And she split a couple of Husky defenders and then was knocked down. Amanda Johnson was charged with a foul. That's her first. And it was on the drive, so there are no shots coming. Defense, defense, defense. 67-40 is our score, 7.49 to go. As Whitfield gets it inbounds, and, Whit and uh, Cummings almost lost the ball as Brooklyn Moore knocked it out of her hands. Now here's the shot underneath, and it's going to be a foul on Moore. Brooklyn's third of the game, second team foul against HBU in the period. And Cummings will be shooting a pair. She's got two points tonight. That's on one field goal. And this one off the glass and in. Second one is no good, but Whitfield gets the offensive rebound for the turnup. Young guarded by Dobb. High post pass, and we've got a three point or a three second violation against the Yellow Jackets. They'll give the ball back to the Huskies. Lauren Calver comes back in, and Brooklyn Moore is going to sit down. Brooklyn with five today. So Megan Valdez Crater, freshman from San Antonio, working the ball, gets it over to Britta Dobb. Now Amanda Johnson drives the baseline and puts it in, and she's got 30. Amanda with 30, 69 41. Whitfield underneath has to kind of bail out and gives the ball back to Calver. Here's Crater to Calver. And shot will not fall, but she was fouled. Crater robbed of an assist there. Reed's third foul, first against the Yellow Jackets in the period, as Lauren Calver will be shooting a pair. And that one short did not. Only a Drew Iron. She's 0 for 2 from the line in this game. Huskies, 13 of 17 overall from 
free throw. Second one, that looks better. I had Warren with six in the first half. And Stats had her only with four, so we're going to say that's five points. We'll have to check that with the official book. Here are the here is 11, give and go to Iwani. Her shot will not fall, and Sydney Carr gets the rebound for the Huskies. On the breakaway, here is Amanda Johnson, gets the pass from Calvert. And Amanda's got 32. 72 to 41, the Huskies, 6-12 to go. Here's a 11. Drives in and she is charging in to Britta Daw. And the foul is going to be on Levin. That's her fourth, second team foul of the period. Offensive foul. And Megan Valdez Crater gets the inbounds pass from Daw. Britta gets it back. Baseline to Johnson. Here's a drive in, and the ball's knocked out of bounds. Daub was driving in, tried to, to pass it off, and it was just knocked out of bounds by the Yellow Jackets. HBU with the ball underneath their own basket with 15 on the shot clock, 5.53 to go in the game. Valdez Crater gets it over to Sydney Carr. Her shot is just short off the rim. The rebound to Laterno. Whitfield is picked up by Valdez Crater. Here's the three put up by Levin. And on the rebound, Husky's going to be charged for a foul. Amanda Johnson, that's her fourth foul, third team foul of the period. And it's on the rebound. Ashley Reed working against Sydney Carr. Layup shot hits the side of the rim, and Lauren Calver gets it. Lauren Huskies have numbers coming back the other way as Dobb puts up a layup. It will not fall, and Whitfield comes down with a rebound for Letourneau. She's driving in, and she puts up a layup shot. Whitfield has 16. Sydney Carr. Thought she was in position to get a charge and kind of hit the back of her bun there. Here's Calver with a shot underneath. She misses it. The rebound came down to 11, but the Huskies steal it away. They'll get almost got a fresh 30 on that. Now this Crater to Daub. Amanda Johnson on the baseline. Swing it back all the way the other way. Daub has it on the wing. Here's a skip pass to Valdez Crater, and it's good. She's got nine on three three-pointers. 75-43, four and a half to go in the game. Here's Levin. She uh, takes an extra step and Calver put it back in her face. There was another free shot. Knocked out of bounds. Cummins tried to put it up, but we're gonna have a media timeout and figure this out. 75-43, HBU with a 32-point lead with 4.14 to go. This is Husky Basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU.
4-14 left in the game. The Huskies have been in control just about all, all the way. 75-43 is the score. And uh, it has been, without a doubt, the Amanda Johnson show tonight. She is 13 of 14 from the field. Her only three-pointer was good. She made, has made all five of her free throws. She's got six rebounds. Sydney Carr actually the leading rebounder for the Huskies with seven. Here's an entry pass stolen away by Cal Calver. And Lauren hands it off to Daub. And Britta comes back the other way. Sydney's got it over in front of the Husky bench. Now gives it off to Johnson, swings it back around out front to Valdez Crater. Her shot is no good from three, but the Huskies with the rebound. And uh, Amanda Johnson kind of was knocked to the floor, now has the ball, and she's going to be tied up, and it'll be given back to alternating possession. Hold it now. Do we have a timeout called? Huskies call the timeout, so the Huskies will retain possession of it. With 3.52 left in the game and a 75 to 43 advantage. So let's see. Uh, our officials, Jennifer White and Jeremy Holm, are uh, discussing whose ball it was going to be. Now we do have a player down on the floor, and I cannot tell who that is, so we'll just not guess. It is a Laterno player. Next up for the Huskies, Saturday afternoon at Rice. Then a week from Saturday, they're playing at UTEP. And uh, the next home game for HBU will be two weeks from today. That is the 29th of November when the Huskies take on Jarvis Christian here at Sharp. We talked about the other games going on at HBU. Volleyball playing Northwestern State in the uh, Southland tournament in Corpus. That's a 1.30 start for Trent Herman's volleyballers. That was Carly Patterson that hit the floor hard. And now she is being helped off the floor by Cassie Rosansky, and they're going to take her in. Just have her sit down at the end of the bench. So the Huskies got the timeout, and that will retain possession now with 24 on the shot clock. Entry pass goes to Karienko. Her shot from the uh, free, just inside the free throw line is good, and Nika's got six. 77-43. Now the ball comes back the other way as Megan Valdez Crater and bodies all over the place, and the Huskies throw it out of bounds. Wow. Calver had it, lost her footing. Valdez Crater had it, lost her footing as the Huskies tried to get it moving. It was actually thrown out of bounds right into the scorer's table across the way. Three and a half minutes to go, and the Huskies with a 34-point lead. Andrea Thorne, Alexandria Thorne back in. There's a pass stolen away by Crater, and she's on the breakaway and has it stolen away. And it's out of bounds. Still be the Husky ball. A new player coming in for the Yellow Jackets. Tatum Jackson, a freshman from Baytown. Actually went to Barbers Hill High School. Kirienko with a long shot, no good. And Bruna Dobb gets the rebound. Here is Kirienko inside. And her shot falls. Nika's got eight, and that is a career best for her. 79-43, the Huskies, 2.54 to go. Now the ball stolen away by Daub as Thorne just couldn't handle it. Here is Calver inside to Nika. Her turnaround shot is good. Kirienko with 10, six of those in this period. 81-43, 2.37 to go. And now we will have a timeout called by Letourneau as they were having some problems getting the ball across the timeline. We mentioned that men's basketball coming up playing uh, at Belmont 
in uh, their tournament on Saturday. It's a 3.30 start. Sunday, we'll play either Seattle or Detroit, their next home game. And then the, after that, they play uh, at Virginia Tech on Tuesday. Um, and then on the 26th, they're at Oklahoma State. Their next home game is the 28th of November against Dallas Christian. That's a 7 o'clock start at Sharp. Paterno plays again next Wednesday. They'll host Texas A&M Commerce. That's a 2 o'clock start up in Longview. Yellow Jackets get the ball in. And we have a foul in the backcourt also in the game. Leah No, a freshman from Harlingen. And they do not get the ball across the timeline in time. That 10-second clock does not restart anymore. It used to when you call a timeout. But if uh, it's they fix that, kind of a change in basketball. 81-43. Nika puts up another shot, and she gets it to fall, and a foul is called on the Yellow Jackets. Leonel, the freshman from Harlingen, gets the uh, – foul. That's the third team foul. Anika gets the free throw to fall. She's got 13. Coming back the other way. This is Taylor Abbey dribbling out of bounds and uh, is tipped out of bounds by Valdez Crater. Megan, the only freshman for the Huskies this year. Huskies without any seniors on this team. Just one freshman. A lot of sophomores and juniors, obviously. Here's Noah. Noah has the ball tipped out of bounds. Britta Daub harassing her. 2.10 to go, and there's 21 to go on the shot clock. As Noah gets it inbounds to Abby. Now out front. Noah picks up it, picks up the ball, gives it back to Abby. Now a shot put up by... No, hits the, it looked, hit net, but didn't hit go to the top. Coming back the other way. Nika, turnaround jump shot is good. Nika with 15. His dog saw her down court, 86 to 43. All Huskies in this one. No, almost has the ball stolen away by Dobb. Has to pick it up. Hands it off now to um, Irvine. Now here's a steal. Huskies back the other way as Dobb misses the free throw, but Calver is there to put it back in. 88-43, a minute 17 to go, and this one's gotten out of hand. Cache Irvine is in the game, just handed it back off to Leonoa. Now Iwani, crossway, that's, that is to uh, Tatum Jackson. Here is a foul as Kirienko charged with the foul. There's a drive, and she uh, was a little late getting over to position. Fresh 30, ball underneath as Irvine is going to throw it in. Gets it over to Taylor Abbey, long three-pointer, does not draw iron that was shot by Leah No. And with 50 seconds to go, the Huskies have the ball back. Dobb gets it over to Amanda Johnson. Kerry Inko tries to force it in to Calver and it was stolen away by the Yellow Jackets. Now another acrobatic steal almost by Johnson. She Almost got it back in, but they called her for being uh, stepping on the line as she jumped. So 34.7 left. Now Jackets will inbounds. This is Cache Irvine has the ball. She puts up a jump shot, and it bounced around. No good. Karienko with the rebound. Back the other way. Calver driving in. Kicks it back out to Amanda Johnson. The shot clock is off, and the Huskies will dribble it out and come up with their first win of the year. Now there was a foul on Noah as Valdez. Valdez Crater hit the floor. 
That's her second foul. That's just the fourth team foul against Letourneau. 15.3 left. And uh, they say no fouls, don't do anything, don't even push it in. And that should be our final score as we count it down here. Huskies get their first win of the year, their first meeting ever with Letourneau. Now this Crater holds it at midcourt, and the game is over. Our final score here in Houston, HBU 88 and Letourneau 43. We'll wrap it up, have a chat with one of the coaches coming up. This is Husky Basketball on the Legacy Sports Network. At Houston Federal Credit Union, we're dedicated to our members, our communities, and now the students, faculty, and employees of Houston Baptist University. From checking and savings accounts to loans, IRAs, money markets, and other financial tools, HFCU is ready to serve the HBU Huskies and their fans. Learn more today. Call 866-OUR-HFCU or log on to HoustonFCU.org. Houston Federal Credit Union and the HBU Huskies, that's a doggone good team. Houston Federal Credit Union is federally insured by NCUA. Coming to you in Living Cola. 